Hi there, welcome back. This is Athol, and I might as well start with the dramatic news, which is uh, in late March, uh, March 2016, uh, I had a heart attack. Um, I am very, very fortunate that I live uh, about 10 minutes drive away from Connecticut's main teaching hospital. Um, I came reasonably close to dying. I did not actually code all the way. It wasn't like they needed to use the paddles on me. Um, but I am told um, while I was in surgery, my blood pressure dropped to like 40 over 25 or something ridiculous. So I was reasonably close to dying. Um, the primary cause of the heart attack was one of my arteries leading into my heart became both 80% and 100% blocked at two different places. Um, basically, I had two stents put in to open up that major artery and spent three days recovering in hospital. And then I went back three weeks later in the middle of April to get a third stent in because another artery they'd seen was about 70-75% blocked. I'm told my heart is basically okay. Um, the problem is solved, but I am very, very weak. Um, basically getting tired very, very quickly. Uh, I did not have any great um, great warnings that it was coming. I'm not a, at, I don't have any of the major risk factors. My cholesterol was only barely elevated. My uh, blood pressures has already been fine. The few times I've had EKGs, they've been perfectly fine. Um, no real history of heart disease in my family that I knew of. Um, Basically everything, everything was pretty good, but I had certainly felt um, increasingly exhausted, tired, worn out, um, especially the whole year leading up to that. And in retrospect, everything makes a whole lot more sense in that I was probably wandering around with 30-40% you know, of my heart capacity, which is why I was getting so tired, so exhausted. Um, so that kind of explains in a big part, you know, why my uh, blogging slowly started to vanish, why I was feeling more tired, while exercising was harder and harder, and all that sort of stuff. So the good news is I don't really have any long-term damage. I just have to recover and get better. So in terms of three monkeys for the week, what I'm particularly focusing on, seeing this is a three monkeys video, um, obviously one is physical. I have cardiac rehab starting tomorrow, uh, which as I understand it is the world's most expensive personal training regime. Um, so I've got that we'll, that will start and that's about three, you know, three sessions a week that I really have to do. Um, and I, to be honest, I am somewhat frightened of doing too much, really uh, making myself worse and having had a heart attack it's a little frightening and spooky to think um, you were living your life and then you suddenly almost died so I am a little bit concerned about that now um, but anyway I have to do the work I have to do the exercise I have to get better um, and I'm certainly eating a lot better than I have in your know, head for a long time and that is good obviously as I'm getting back into the swing of things um, I feel like my energy is up more than it has been for a while and I am basically desperate to return to the level of productivity and blogging and now video blogging and all that sort of stuff where I had been doing it in like 2010, 11, 12 and 13. Um, for most of that time I was basically putting out about six blogs a week. So I'd like to sort of resume some of that and get back up to speed. Um, the other thing that I want to focus on and the good news in the midst of all of this is that I actually did get the video project done that I had been working on which is called Nice Card Mink Card. There will be links below. So the video stuff is all done. That's already, that's for sale, that's ticking over and it's going pretty well and I'm getting some nice feedback from it. And now I need to basically turn that into also a book form. Some people love videos, some people wanna go through all the material in book form. So now I need to write the book. The great news with that is we already have done all the transcripts for the videos. It's a really nice uh, rough first draft of being able to turn something into a book. So we have 30, 31, 32,000 words already in a sense pre-written. 
it just is needing to go through that and stop that process of turning it into book form. Um, and obviously that's not a week thing. I'm not going to get through that in a week. And I'm going to basically challenge myself. This is a challenge. It is not a promise. It is not something I'm going to say is absolutely going to be perfectly available for the challenge date. It would be nice, but this is the challenge. The challenge for myself is to turn uh, the nice card, mean card material into a completed book by the end of May 2016, which is today's the second, so like 29 days from now. Which is a huge task, but I kind of need the pressure, otherwise I'm going to fluff around with it, and it just has to be done. So those are my three monkeys for this week. I have the whole get back into exercise, the cardiac rehab, the whole really consciously starting to push myself more a little physically. The second monkey is back to blogging and now obviously uh, the video stuff on YouTube. So basically trying to up that production so it is more frequent and beginning on the nice card mean card writing. So those are my three things. Those are my three monkeys. Um, have a think about what your three monkeys are too. What are you working on this week? And it's all about making your life better, happier, more content, more productive, more focused. So until, well, hopefully tomorrow or something, love, sex, and happiness, and I will catch you next time. Alrighty.